Let's not waste any time. Everybody's doing mock drafts. The draft is Thursday. I love this draft. I'm a nerd, and it's a bunch of linemen. <laughs> I love this draft. A bunch of good tight ends. And so let's do our mock draft. Uh, top 10 picks in the NFL. The number one pick is in. Yeah, a little small for me, but he is a first-round talent. I wouldn't do it. Not that I don't think he's good, but I think they have a quarterback, and I'd rather go get the best pass rusher in football in Nick Bosa. But Cliff Kingsbury actively recruited him to Texas A&M. He does fit best with Kingsbury's coaching style. And if Cliff Kingsbury doesn't work in Arizona, you're going to get everybody fired. So, I mean, I, I think this comes down to you go to Cliff and say, what do you like? And Cliff probably goes, I like Josh Rosen. I love Kyler Murray. And that's who you take. The number two pick is in. 6'4", 265, a grinder. His brother Joey Bosa has been a stud for the Chargers. Listen, last year he had 12 and a half sacks and he got hurt. I mean, he didn't even play the entire schedule. And also, San Francisco has drafted a lot of guys up front defensively. Solomon Thomas, not as good as they thought. Armstead, not as good as they thought. Uh, Niners had one player with double digit sacks uh, in a season in the last six years. They got to get a pass rusher, especially in that division where you're chasing around Russell Wilson, Jared Goff, maybe Kyler Murray. They need a pass rusher. Niners take Nick Bosa. Number three pick is in. Listen, the Jets' rush defense last year stinks. That's why they went and got C.J. Mosley from the Ravens at linebacker. If you add Quinn and Williams, my people tell me he's the best player in the draft. Uh, so, and, and I'm not saying that because I love Sam Darnold and the Jets, but he is an unblockable one-on-one -on -one player. You can double him and push him out of the way because um, he's not huge. He's only 300 pounds. But he had eight sacks, 20 tackles for a loss at Alabama. He is the real deal. The Jets will put him next to Leonard Williams and solve their rushing defense problems. He had 17 sacks, second most in college football, and the minute the Raiders gave up Khalil Mack, guess what they needed? A pass rusher. So the bottom line, you know how many sacks the Raiders had last year? This is embarrassing. 13. Worst in the NFL. He's a great fit, Josh Allen, to the Raiders. Tampa's defense stinks. Their best players, seemingly, the last several years are all on offense. They had the second-worst total defense over the last three years. Bruce Arians is going to elevate the offense. So go out and get a really talented kid who I'm told is moving up the draft board. Ed Oliver solidifies their defensive front. Uh, best defensive lineman, arguably, in the Big Ten, all Big Ten last two years. Little bit of a shoulder concern, but he was the number one high school football player in the country. Remember, the Giants traded defensive end Olivier Vernon to the Browns, so they need a big, relentless pass rusher. Um, and the Giants, by the way, did not get to the quarterback last year. 30 sacks last year uh, was among the worst in the NFL. Rashawn Gary Shoulder issues, but a good pickup, I think. Plus, Dave Gettleman is obsessed with getting a pass rusher in the draft. There's actually three offensive tackles I love in this draft. They're going to take the kid they probably saw the most of at the University of Florida, uh, Jawan Taylor. Big, strong. Uh, last year, he allowed one sack all year, and that's in the SEC. So the SEC's always got the best defensive fronts, and he allowed one sack. And the Jaguars' offensive line has – they've got some players. They haven't had a good offensive line in years. Now you got Nick Foles, who is not overly athletic and mobile. you got to solve your tackle position. They just did it. SEC's best tackler last year. This guy's an automatic home run player in the NFL. Matt Patricia coaches the Lions. What is Matt Patricia's history? Defense and fronts. Uh, he'll be the playmaker for Detroit's defense. Uh, and he can really run. He's a linebacker who runs like a wide receiver. He runs a 4-4. LSU SEC guy, Devin White. By the way, best blocking tight end in the NFL coming in from college in a long time. College tight ends don't block anymore because all the spread offenses. This kid's a beast. He'll help block for Josh Allen, the second-year quarterback. Uh, they also, last year, they have bad tight end productivity and bad um, receiver productivity. This is a home run pick for the Bills. A blocking tight end to elevate your running game, protect Josh Allen. He can also get downfield. Yeah, again, this guy's a beast. He's one of two or three great tackles. Um, Mike Leach in Washington State don't run the ball. 
all they do is throw. So there's questions about his ability to run block, but he is a tremendous pass-blocking offensive lineman. He was the highest-graded offensive lineman, according to Pro Football Focus, in pass-blocking, and the Broncos lost three starting offensive linemen to free agency. Also, one more pick. I'm going to go with Haskins drops because of the Giants' needs on defense and reluctance to move off Eli Manning. I'm going to say the Ohio kid goes to the Bengals, and I love this move. Sit behind Andy Dalton for a year. He's an Ohio kid. Um, they have a new coach in Cincinnati, offensive-minded Zach Taylor. He, he's going he's gonna to get tired of Andy Dalton really quick. So I like Haskins more than everybody else does. I'd take him if I was the Giants, if I'm not going to trade for Josh Rosen. He broke Drew Brees' Big Ten record for most touchdown passes in a year with 50. Uh, I like the kid a lot. And so I think he's going to go to the Bengals at 11, and it's perfect. you got Andy Dalton, and he's a grown-up. He's mature. Uh, Dwayne can sit back there, learn the offense, figure it out from a real grown-up. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.